messing me up. I'm trying to actually roll right now so I can hang out with y'all the right way. But the wind coming through, oh shit, the wind coming through the window right now is messing me up. <coughs> well, you guys, here we are. This is the last weekend I am working uh, in the booth. Um, this is the last event that we have scheduled to be putting the booth up and selling jewelry, which is what I've been doing this, this winter. Um, haven't had a whole lot of, of events that we've done. One of them got canceled and then this one got scheduled to make up for it. But we're going to be working Phoenix Lights. Phoenix Lights, some rave that's out here in Phoenix. Um, we're working today and then we're going to be also working tomorrow. We're going to be working today until 2 a.m. And then we're working tomorrow until 2 a.m. Then we break down the booth. And then this van that I'm in right now, this is the work van. It's got all the, like, the whole booth in it. Um, it's going to be going back to Vegas. And then we're going to be dropping off the van in Vegas. And then we have one more show we're working, which is, I mean, I'm not selling jewelry at that one. We're not going to be setting up the booth, but we are going to be, um, we are going to be, uh, doing taxi cab at country thunder and they have like golf cart taxi so i'll be working that um, country thunder here in the phoenix area getting people around the festival because apparently it's huge so they need golf cart taxis to get people around that's what i'll be doing what's up dave how you doing man good to see you and if you're also watching say hi chime in say what's up what's up ed how you doing man you and Dave hanging out? You guys are at the same spot right now, aren't you? Or are you not at Ponderosa anymore? I know you were staying there. I'm just, I got some uh, smoke given to me by an old army buddy of mine not too long ago. And I'm rolling up the last little bit of it right now. Um, it's, it's all right. It's some homegrown stuff. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Shannon. I love you. I miss you guys. I miss you guys over there at the Ponderosa. Sorry I missed you when you came to Vegas. The Ponderosa Retirement Home. Yeah, that's no joke. Um, yeah, I guess you do. You got Jack, you got Ed, Dave. Dave's falling apart. How's your back, dude? You recently were just telling us online that your back was messed up. Hopefully it's feeling better. Damn right she says hi. God damn right she says hi. This is the best grinder I've ever used, ever. It fits in, it's like a credit card, fits into your wallet. Super small for a nomad. This is the shit. It's like a cheese grater for your smoke. What's up, Cote? Now let's see if I can grind all these stems out of this, because there's a lot. Your back is still messed up? That sucks, dude. My back's been a mess lately, too. I need to get better sleeping arrangements. Um, better sleeping pad or something, because my back is too old to be sleeping on the fucking ground, you know? Too old, too broken. But I'm tenting it right now, really, really hoping that I can get enough money for a vehicle. I'm working this weekend, plus I get paid on Monday. And with that money and... Um, this weekend money, hopefully I get enough to, like, it's really fucking tragic because vehicles right now are, like, it used to be, like, a $1,500 car would be, like, a beater. It would be, like, running and driving and stopping, and, you know, you could probably get down the road for maybe another year on it. You never know. Um, now, all the cars that are, like, 1500 bucks are, like, mechanic specials, and they don't fucking run. And I really hate the used car market right now. It's it's awful. The truck was uh, um, essentially repoed, but yeah, uh, I got caveman went and came and got the truck, so he's got it. I got no vehicle right now, but I don't owe any more money, so that is a that is a good thing, and I'm glad that he was made whole.
Yeah, I was looking yesterday. Cote says, yeah, I was looking yesterday and beaters are like five grand. Yeah, I've seen some decent-ish cars at like 3,500. But, dude, it's it's retarded. It used to be 500 bucks was your mechanic special. You know, maybe a thousand, maybe for like a rare vehicle. But now it's like 1500 and it's like doesn't run, don't have the title, also needs to be towed because I don't have the key. And it's like, why are you asking $1,500 for this giant paperweight and chore and problem? Like, um, so I'm trying to get it set up as I can in a backpack. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be how my future is going to be. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in a backpack. Um, so it is what it is. And right now I'm not that comfortable. Um, not that comfortable. I need to get a better sleeping pad. I did see a sleeping pad for like fucking, I saw one for like 200 bucks or no, I'm sorry. A hundred bucks. that had like a, a sleep or I'm sorry, a, a memory foam in it. And it was supposed to be super fucking comfortable. So I think I might end up having to do that. If I can get like a beater van, even a car, that'd be sweet. Seems like, um, like I'd be able to come up with a down payment and make payments on one, but most people like they don't know me, and why would they do that? I I, I get it. Uh, most people aren't willing to do payments on a vehicle they're trying to sell, so I I pretty much suspect that's not going to happen. But that would be pretty much the only way I can afford something that's like not a hunk of shit. But hey, 15 folks in here and only one person has liked the live stream. Don't forget to smash the like button, you guys. It helps me. It helps the algorithm. Um, yeah, dude, it is a messed up car market, but I'm getting kind of desperate right now, to be honest with you. Like, this is the first time, not just in my nomading career, that I haven't had a vehicle. This is the first time in my adult life I have not had a vehicle. And this kind of blows thankfully right now i have the work van um i can kind of use to get to the store if i need to or whatever so that's been a, that's been a huge blessing but this is the last weekend i'll have it um this is the last week i'll be able to use it i'll be we have to turn return the work van to vegas after this show so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do there's a lot of stems in this weed i know you guys can't see what i'm doing but um, that's because within the first, you know, five, ten minutes of your live stream, you, you got to be careful about what you put on there. Otherwise, they demonetize the entire thing. So uh, once I finished, once I finish uh, rolling this up, you'll see. But there's a lot of little stems in it. Oh, Zag, she's right here. Right here in the seat. Taking a little Zag nap. Always... Oh, he's just right next to me, being the perfect little dog she is. Huh, girl, you're the, just the perfectest dog ever. This is her hard life she has. Thankfully, she doesn't care if we're in a vehicle or not. Um, I suspect that she prefers a vehicle, having a van of some kind. Um, but I really don't know if she cares. Honestly, I will say I did recently go to Walmart and I spent 60 fucking dollars on a new tent because I needed something that was lighter than what I have. So now I've got like this backpacking tent that Walmart sells. Um, but I also needed something that had a rain fly because the other two tents I have don't have a rain fly. And uh, monsoon season is right around the corner. So I... uh Went and got one so I can keep myself dry. Like, I wasn't even able to keep myself dry. Every time the rain came, it was, like, a fucking disaster. So, um, now I've got a spot that I can, like, lay in and keep dry. It's not very big, but I needed to keep dry. I need that for my mental health. <laughs> I need to not, like, wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning getting fucking rained on anymore. Even, like, a light rain out here in the desert fucking sucks. Yay, thanks for hitting that like button, dude. Yep, Zag's just being the perfectest dog ever. Um, when is the, uh, didn't they already do it? The rave at Bombay? They already did that, the Biennium. Missed it because we were also working a different show. So. Yep. 
Maybe next year I'll make it out there to that one. I know prom's coming up. I know prom's coming up soon, too. Oh, I've almost got this all ground up. And I'll just have to make sure I got the seeds out of it. Or, I'm sorry, all the stems out of it, because it'll poke a hole in the paper. Sometimes there's that one sneaky little stem, you know, that one sneaky one that pokes a hole. So I'm trying to make it real ground up and fine, but still, dude, the best grinder I've ever, ever used. Not as clean as some of the other ones, but for a Nomad, especially in a backpack, it's choice. It's choice. But yeah, man, I'm I'm starting to get a little bit desperate for a vehicle. It be what it be, I'll get one eventually. Um, not sure how yet. I'm not sure how I'm gonna pull that shit off. But prom is tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it to prom either. I guess next year. Maybe next year. Maybe the year after. I don't know. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna go back to Slab City is. To be honest with you. As most of you know, like, that know me, like, that last year took quite a bit out of me. So, I needed a bit of a break. And then my van blowing up, that didn't help at all. And I've been in slabs without a vehicle once before. I had my RV, but I didn't have a vehicle, and that was, it's pretty rough, man. It's pretty hard in that town without that independence of, you know, your own ride. Okay, 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 here we go. You guys are not all that chatty today. What's going on? Let me know what you're smoking on. How's everyone doing? Dave, are you taking Ed to prom? Or is Ed taking you to prom? Hey, what's up, Jeffro? Long time no see, man. Smoking fucking roaches right now, dude. It blows. Dude, that's... This is basically my last joint. And then I'm on to roaches as well. Which I've got a little collection of them. I got me a little collection of roaches. Just for that occasion... I have a pipe somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where I put it. I'm also probably going to have to get a storage unit. Because, dude, I got more stuff than I can carry. Like, I literally do have more stuff than I can possibly carry. Uh, my bag is just ridiculously heavy right now. I need to, like... I think I've got too many clothes, honestly. I think that's my problem, is I got too many clothes. And, uh... Um, makes my pack really, really heavy. I've got too many clothes and not enough of, uh, other essential stuff. Dude, roaches and only vapes for weeks. Kevin and I are getting our license and no one takes temporary ones. Oh, that fucking sucks. That sucks. The dispensaries won't take a temporary license? <sighs> That's stupid. Maybe they're just easier to fake or something. I'm not sure. I remember one time when I was in the military, I tried buying some wine and they wouldn't take my military ID. And they were like, we only take government issued IDs. And I'm like, this is a government issued ID. And they're like, sorry, we don't take that. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I'll just go somewhere else. I don't know why that popped in my head, but.
Well, hopefully you're, uh, hopefully it comes in the mail soon, dude. Hopefully you get your IDs soon and you can get some smoke. That's another reason the black market was a little bit better. Like, it's unfortunate that people had to have a black market, but it was also <laughs> not regulated as heavily. So, you'd be able to get some smoke if you needed it. Yeah, that's like the most government issued ID. Yeah, your military ID. Yeah, and they wouldn't. I remember. I remember the fucking grocery store I was at wouldn't take it, and I was like, "Does even make sense?" So I think they just never seen one before. There is one. Uh, I have a couple of leads on a vehicle. Um. Um, one of which apparently there's one of you amazing folks out there who has a friend that gives vehicles to veterans um i wouldn't expect it to be a great vehicle but i'll take a shit box i don't care um i need i need one i'm getting desperate <coughs> we're hoping to I'm hoping to hear back from that situation soon. Maybe find out if there's a vehicle I might get. But if not, that's okay. Um, there's another one that I was talking to someone in the court site buy sell trade group, um, and you know the vehicle that they had posted isn't something I can afford. But I explained my situation. I was like, hey, if you'd be willing to do payments, whatever. Um, they didn't really respond, so I'm pretty sure the answer for that is no. But somebody else came in and was like, hey, I've got this. Honda Matrix that I'm trying to get rid of, so maybe we could work something out. Um, they haven't responded to me yet, so hopefully they respond sometime soon. Um, but otherwise, I might, like, it's, the summer's right around the corner, and it's already 80 degrees today out here. What is this, April? So it's 80 degrees right here in the Phoenix area. I gotta go back to the Vegas area, which this time of year in the Vegas area, it's notoriously windy. Um, so I'm not looking forward to that. And in Vegas, I don't know where to post up that's going to be close to like stores and stuff. I'll probably have to like hitchhike into town and, and whatnot. But there's really nowhere that's close to town to hitchhike in and out of. So I'm wondering if I should just start hitchhiking north. Like now. Just start heading that way. And packing my bag up and, and taking off. Um... I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll do a Greyhound. Maybe if any of you are headed north, I could catch a ride or something, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, in any case, all my stuff is up north. I've also now got a lot of stuff here, so I'll probably have to get a storage unit, drop that stuff in the storage unit with everything except for what I can throw on my back, and then start heading north. But I can't go too far north too fast. Because Oregon, it's it's not ready for me yet. Oregon's cold right now. Like, higher elevations are cold. Like, Cote just said, damn, we just got snow. <laughs> yeah, down here in the desert, we are not worried about snow right now. Um, but it still could snow up there. So I got to be really careful about how far north I go, how fast. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe Reno. Maybe I could hang out outside of Reno for a little bit until I start hitchhiking further east. Not really sure yet. But, uh, I think that's what's going to end up having to happen if, if I don't get a vehicle. But at this point, I was even looking at motorcycles, you guys. Like, I don't know how the fuck I would pull that off with Zag, but I, I'm pretty certain Zag would absolutely hate being on a motorcycle. But I was thinking maybe it's something I can afford. I've got my motorcycle license. Um, so I started looking and it seems like it's the same thing with used vehicles it is, as it is with motorcycles. It used to be $1,500 to get you I don't, a decent bike, not like all the bells and whistles, but you can get a motorcycle that'll last you forever. Um, now all the $1,500 motorcycles are, are mechanic specials. All the $1,500 cars are mechanic specials and like you, you have to tow it away and I don't have a key for it and the title's lost, but I got a bill of sale and like, it's just, it's, it's very disheartening. Like, I need twice as much money as, as what I have. 
I made sacrifices to the gods for 40 degree weather. <laughs> Hopefully it was some neighbors. Sacrifice the neighbors to the weather gods. I got to take off um, today because I'm going to Phoenix Lights today, which is at the Speedway. It's at the racetrack. Um, we had to set up the booth yesterday. We probably got a little bit more work to do today before the booth is 100% ready to go. But then the Phoenix Light starts, which is apparently some sort of rave. We're going to be selling jewelry at the vendor's area there. And then <coughs> from there, I guess, uh, yeah, like I said, we got to take this van back to Vegas. And this is the work van, by the way. Like, the whole booth goes in here. Um, and then we're going to have to take this back to Vegas and drop it off. So I've been kind of using this to, to go to the store or whatever, go to the bathroom at the you know get a soda maybe um but I, I won't have that option here in a couple of days so i'll be actually on foot actually out of a backpack um alicia's here and she's nice enough to let me you know sleep in her van sometimes or get me a ride to the store or whatever so that's been a blessing for sure um but she's gonna be heading east pretty soon too so um yeah, my life's about to get interesting and difficult, so it is what it is, but midday on a Friday, today's Friday, right? It's today Friday? Let me look. Shit, yeah, it is. It is a Friday. <coughs> midday on a Friday. Um... I also need to learn how to shape my beard. It's kind of a new phenomenon, me being able to grow a beard. So, learning, I need to figure out what to do with it. Hopefully it starts growing in thicker and like on my face too. <laughs> you guys are just not that chatty today. Not that chatty. I do see a lot of motorcycles rolling around and like Arizona would be a pretty good spot to own a bike because it's like riding season year round. <coughs> In Oregon, where I'm from, riding season is like three months, maybe four if you're lucky. <coughs> and then you gotta put your bike away and uh, wait for next year. But out here, it's like year round riding season unless it's raining. So that's pretty cool. Once my phone charges a little bit, because it's plugged in right now, um, I'll take you guys out and show you my camp a little a little bit. Two of my tents need to be tossed. They're getting a little torn up. And I just got this other $60 backpacking tent. It's like a one person. You know, you get enough room to sleep in it, especially for a guy my size. Um, so the other two just got to be trashed. I asked earlier, but how much was the van repair cost? Oh, to repair my van is going to be like five grand. Five to seven grand. I got quoted at seven and a half thousand dollars from this one mechanic, and it would take 13 weeks to do the engine swap. Um, but also, finding if I found a mechanic that was willing to go in there and just do an engine rebuild, um, probably around five grand. So, might as well be a million, honestly. Might as well be a million. Does suck that fucking van blew up, dude. That's been... Yeah. That's been the, the, the beginning... <coughs> of my slow progression. I don't know. It wasn't even the beginning. This just last year has been just super fucking rough on me i'm not gonna lie like it's it's been a really rough year year and a half um you know and i'm i'm trying to keep my head up but i know riders in pa that ride year round yeah i i by necessity would end up having to but where i'm from it snows and you fucking can't ride in the snow dude like you just can't it's not even smart it's it's not stupid, it's really, really stupid. 
maybe if I had a trike. But even then, like, there's just no reason to, to put myself out there without any safety around me in the snow. But I'm probably not going to be in the snow. Like, I, I don't see any reason that I would end up in the snow again. I, I actively avoid it. So, anyway, it doesn't really matter because the motorcycle's out here. Like I said, it used to be $1,500 to get you a bike that ran just fine. Um, maybe you needed to swap tires on it or something, grease up the chain, do an oil change. But $1,500 used to get you a motorcycle that you could, like, <laughs> ride forever if you took care of it. And now... Fifteen hundred dollars to get you a bike that's also a mechanic special. Used car market right now is just awful, and of course this is when I really need one. I really need to run into like Mr. Beast or something. Yeah, sidecar for Zag. <laughs> I've thought about it. I don't really like si sidecar that much. I'm, I've thought about having a trailer um, on the back of the bike, and maybe I could put her in that. They also make these like hard. Uh, saddlebags that are pet carriers so you can throw your animal in the hard saddlebag but even still i think zag would fucking hate it i think she would absolutely hate it she doesn't like loud noises motorcycles are very loud um she doesn't like she doesn't stick her head out the window when we're driving she's not like that kind of dog i don't think she'd like it that much to be honest with you all the fucking tilting all the time and shit um i think it would be a slow progression into getting her used to something like that like her just having the bike running and her being around it and then having the bike running and her being in that pet carrier and then like letting her get comfortable with that and then and then putting her in the pet carrier and letting the bike roll around a little bit like run to the store run back like little things like that but i don't have time for all that like honestly summer is right around the corner 100 degrees is a month away so Dude, an e-bike, I have thought about that too. That's not a terrible idea. I can get an e-bike and then throw a trailer, like a bicycle trailer on the back and just fucking ride that, I guess, become a bicycle touring thing. I got solar panels I could charge the e-bike with. Um, it probably would take a while to charge, but... <clears throat> and then... How long would it take me to ride an e-bike from here to, like, Vegas? Who fucking knows? But that's not a bad idea, to be completely honest with you. Um, I couldn't ride on the interstate. I'd have to ride on back roads and highways and stuff. <coughs> and I feel like most e-bikes, you can only get, like, 80 miles out of them without... And then you need a charge. Like, the battery packs in those aren't very good. So, if I had two battery packs, you can get a little farther. And then one's charging while you're using one. And obviously, if you pedal, you can get further. But, um, I've even thought about a gas-powered bicycle. I have considered that, too. I'm, I'm literally considering every option. I think the one that makes the most sense, though, is me putting everything I have here that I can't carry into uh, storage. And then, um, and then, uh, maybe taking a Greyhound or hitchhiking up to Oregon. I feel like maybe the car market might be a little better there. Um, maybe I won't make it all the way there. I don't know. I have honestly, I'm really at a loss of what I'm going to do. I, I'm really, <laughs> do, I'm doing the best I can, you guys. And I'm, I'm treading water the best I can, but it, it's definitely struggling. Roller skates. Yeah, they have electric skateboards, too. Can you imagine having me fucking scooting down the road on an electric skateboard with a giant fucking backpack on? Just, where are you headed? With a sign on my backpack that says, Oregon. Me. He's fucking scooting down the road. It's another thing about a bike. Like, if I needed, like to hitch anywhere i've also got this bicycle and this trailer it'd be really hard to like get a ride anywhere with all this stuff <coughs> <coughs> so you know
<laughs> roller skates and zag running alongside. Yeah, she got like little ass legs, man. <clears throat> she did a 10 mile hike with us not too long ago and she pulled it off. I carried her for maybe a mile, um, maybe. And she pulled it off just fine. She was pretty fucking smoked the next day. She wasn't, you know, rowing around that much, but she did it. But I think, you know, having her walk that far would be awful. I do have a carrying, like somebody sent me, one of you amazing people with, with great forethought, sent me a sling. So I have this sling that I can put over me and it's a bag and I can throw Zag in the bag. And it like carries her blankets and her dog bags and I can hook her leash to it. I use it all the fucking time. And I don't give a shit. Like, I have seen worse. A grown man carrying around his tiny little dog in a sling. I, I, I got no I got no qualms about it. But I will never push her in a baby carriage. And I have seen that way too often lately. A little fucking animal being pushed around in a baby carriage. And that to me <laughs> is mind blowing. And I'm well aware that it's probably better for the animal <laughs> um, in a public area. I get it, but I will never do it with Zag. I will lift her up if she's ever in a situation <laughs> like that where she needs to be pushed in a carriage. I think putting your kids on a leash makes more sense than putting a puppy or a dog in a baby carriage. But I've been seeing it a lot lately. <laughs> hey Zay, you hungry yet? Yeah? You hungry? Here. Put it right here. Zay just kind of free eats, by the way. I always try to have food on deck for her. Just kind of always in her bowl so she can eat when she wants. That's why she's so fat, you pudgy dog. For those of you who didn't see her earlier, this is what she's doing right now. This is her sling, by the way. Use a pudgy dog. Use a pudgy dog. Use a pudgy dog. Best dog in the world. Zag remembers two leggers. What's up, Critter Bones? Welcome to the live stream. Welcome to the live stream. We're just smoking and joking <laughs> <coughs> anybody have any good jokes anybody have any good jokes i got a good joke what's what's the opposite of christopher reeves christopher walken <laughs> I think that's my favorite joke ever. That might be really high up there. It's the one that I remember all the time. It's like that one joke that you always remember off the top of your head. Um, dude, this sun's coming right through this fucking window. It's like the hottest part of the day right now. What time is it? It's 11.50. Puff Puff passing. I would pass to you guys, but I can't. Just like, here we go. Hit this shit. Put your face up to the screen and take a hit. You don't want to hit this, to be honest with you. Like, I am, I am like miraculously homeless right now. So, any weed that you have is probably better than what I'm smoking on. This was a... Uh, this was given to me. I went and visited a man. It was kind of cool, actually. Um, there's this army buddy of mine <coughs> that we went, uh, we served together for quite a while. And uh, we went on different deployments. He, we, he deployed the year before me. I deployed when right after he got back. Um, but we went, we were also in a high school together. Like, 
I was in a lot of different high schools growing up, and um, so was he. So we at one of those high schools we had met. Anyways, turns out um, he was living up here in Lake Havasu, and I was like, dude, I go through Lake Havasu all the fucking time. And so I went and visited him, and it was pretty cool. Like, the first day we just hung out on the beach and smoked some. And I had never smoked with him before because we were in the Army when we knew each other. This is the first time in over 10 years that I've seen him. It's been the longest time. So, um, at one point, you know, we moved to different units, and then um, we kind of just lost touch. So, then the second day we had a barbecue at his place. It was pretty cool. Um, but he hooked me up with some flour, which was some homegrown stuff. You know, some, some just fucking plant material, basically. That I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not exactly great. Um, but he also did hook me up with some hash that I am pretty stoked about. So, um, got a little bit of that left. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Light this roach. Hey, what's up, Ethan Bobby? How you doing? Welcome to the live stream, y'all. How you doing? How you been? How's life going in the desert for you? Have you been avoiding all the rain lately? Uh, Phoenix area has been getting a lot of rain. Um, for like the last week, it wasn't like, I wouldn't say a lot of rain, but it's very green out here right now. Here, I'll show you. Um, for a desert, oh shit, that's not it. Let's see. There we go. For a desert, this is very green, you guys. Like there's a lot of grass growing. So, we haven't had a lot, a lot of rain, but it seemed like last week, every day for about, uh, or at least every night, for most of the week, it, it rained out here, so. Um, let me put this back. So, it's been very green out here because of that. Hey, what's up, Alicia? There's accidentally Alicia, everyone. Saying hello from next door. <laughs> she's she's camera shy. You may not. You may not. Uh, I I, I always hoped that she would make a YouTube channel, but we have a lot of green and flowers. We have a lot of flowers too. Like there's here. I'll just walk out there. Um, by the way, I did see a rattlesnake the other day. Alicia and I saw a rattlesnake. Um. <laughs> And it was, well, us and shook its rattle at us. And, uh, like, back the fuck up. And we were like, okay, buddy, all right. Um, it was pretty fucking big, actually. It was a big ass, or a big ass snake. But, um, you know, my immediate, as soon as I heard the rattle, my immediate response, like, I jumped out of my seat and I'm like, where's Zag? And she was just chilling in the tent exactly where she should be. So then I zipped up the tent so she couldn't get out. And uh, it was pretty close to where we're cooked, right right next to our little kitchen. So we uh, ended up just taking off. We had errands to run, so we ended up letting the snake just fucking have his space. And, um, but I honestly really wanted to eat it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to eat it. Um, but I, I, it would've been very difficult for me to kill myself, I think, and just too much of a risk. And Alicia isn't, ever killed a snake before so but let's check these flowers out you guys yeah they're all over the place and honestly I'm very happy that I haven't seen more bees. Like, there is a honeybee in there right now. I see one. But you would think they'd be all over the place. And I'm absolutely terrified of bees. Like, absolutely 
completely scared of bees. I'd rather that snake come back than be this close to that bee right there. there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, wait, that's not a bee, but that other one is. I don't know if you see it. I don't know how good my camera is, but it's like right up there somewhere there's a bee. Not a fan. Not a fan. But then there's all these yellow flowers over here, too, on these plant or on these shrubs. Uh, a lot of grass has been growing because the desert's been getting so much rain. All the sagoros are all swelled up. And that's what happens when they uh, soak up all the water. They swell up and get all fat. Like that one there and that one there. If they, if they end up uh, drying up, if there's not a lot of rain, they end up shrinking too. They like, they're not all swelled up like they are right now. They end up looking really like they're struggling, but that's just part of it. And then over here is our, my camp and I've built my own tent city. Slabless city tent number one. This is the new tent I just got from Walmart. Um, it's like a backpacking tent, 60 bucks. Got a rain fly on it. Needed to be able to keep dry. I'm sick of being woken up by rain. And then this one we got for 40 bucks off Craigslist. And I mean, it did its job for it did its job for a minute, but it's time time to toss it. So, um, and then my, uh, solar array is right over here as well, right there. And I'm not going to be able to carry this in a backpack. I also have a diesel heater that I'm not going to be able to carry in a backpack. So, here soon I'm going to have to get a storage unit and throw these things in it. Um, because I don't want to be down here in the extreme heat. I don't want to be down here when it gets too hot. So, I got a little bit of work to do before. I'm completely ready to leave this spot. As you can tell, I'm not a bit dug in, but two of those tents need to go into the garbage and I need to pack up all my stuff that's not, um, <coughs> that's, that I can't carry on my back. I do have a stove that I can't carry on my back, so I'm gonna, and it's big. It's like the, you know, Coleman stove. I can't throw that in a backpack. So I am gonna have to get a different, different stove thing. I do have a jet boil, which is awesome, and it's really great at, like, boiling water, but it's not great for cooking on a pan. Um, not impossible. I could do it. It would be fine. Um, it would be better. They have these other ones, these other, like, small little pocket stoves that, that you can control the temperature a little better. Diddy did it. Drew says, Diddy did it. Did you figure out the car situation? No, I haven't figured out the car situation. Um, I do have a couple of leads on, on, on some possibilities. There is one of you, you folks, one of my followers who, uh, one of my road dogs who said that they know a person who has like is in the past given vehicles to homeless veterans. And I mean, I don't expect it to be like some like, crazy brand new car but I expect it to be like a used vehicle like something that I would probably be able to afford um but she's waiting to hear back from him and he's waiting to hear about a title for the vehicle so that's one possibility the other possibility is there's I I was on a Facebook conversation in uh, one of the court site buy sell trade groups and this dude on TikTok that I've been following for years is selling his vehicle and he's asking more than I can afford, but I've always admired his vehicle because um, he built it out and and it was pretty ingenious on the way he built it out. So anyways, he pulled most of the stuff off and he's selling it like 
bare minimum. But in the conversation I was having with him, somebody else said, hey, I've got this matrix and we could maybe work something out because I'd mentioned I could probably afford payments. <laughs> kind of explained my situation like very quickly, but uh, I'm waiting to hear back from them about that. So um, the other thing option is me. Maybe I find a vehicle in my price range, which doesn't look like it's much of a possibility, but if I could find a vehicle in my price range that it, it's not going to like need a bunch of repairs, but it seems like everything that I found so far has just been a bunch of mechanic specials. So I just need to get lucky. So everyone, I don't even need donations. Just send your good vibes. I mean, I'll take donations, but send vibes. Like, please send Zig vibes so I can get some wheels underneath me because I, I really do need it. But yeah, Drew, thanks for asking. Dick did do it. Fuck did he. I never really liked him anyways. Diddy did it. Diddy can hang out with R. Kelly. Hollywood's fucking weird, dude. Hollywood is super weird. I am kind of looking forward to the next, like, change that there's going to be. Um, I've been down here in the desert now for, you know, I went and did that little quick stint up in Oregon and got stuck there. But, um, going to be kind of sad and kind of looking forward to what's happening next. Hopefully I'll have a vehicle underneath me. I can get back up there and either junk the van sell the van there is an area in central oregon called dirt world where it's basically like their version of slab city it's where a lot of the the people that can't afford housing <coughs> have ended up and it's like they haven't gotten kicked out of there yet so i was thinking maybe i could find somebody out there who could use just shelter you know just put just shelter and i could gift them the van like hey it doesn't run it's got a solar panel on top, it's got an awning, it's got a bed, it's shelter, and maybe just give it to them. Um, so I don't have to, like, I think that somebody could use it. Somebody could use that thing as a house. Or I could sell it as is, and it seems like as the market is, I could sell it for like two grand as it is. Which, 1500 gets you mechanic specials, but my van's kind of rare, so... Um, and I've also got like the, like I said, the awning on it, the solar panels are on top and there's living space. There's a propane tank. Like it's probably worth about two grand as is with a, even with a blown motor. Um, but it's worth fixing. I just wish I could afford it. That's cool. Hope everything works out. At least Zig's holding up. I'm trying to man. I am trying to hold up. I'm doing my best. I am doing my best. Today we got to leave. Alicia and I, who, who was in the comments earlier, we have to leave and we're working Phoenix Lights, which is a rave here in Phoenix at the Speedway, which is honestly kind of cool. Like, <clears throat> when we got there, as you're pulling up, you just see all the stands, like all the seats and stuff, and it's just one big, huge amphitheater with a racetrack going around it. Um, we had to get escorted into where the vendors are and down there on, in, in the center of the track. Uh, it was pretty sweet, actually, not going to lie. And we got to go back there today because we got to finish setting up the booth. And then the, the show starts today, so we'll be working until 2 a.m. So wish me luck. Um, and then we got to do it again tomorrow. So we'll be getting back here to camp at probably like 3, 3.30 a.m. Yeah, rave. Um, but we'll be getting back here around 3, 3.30 a.m., and then we will, um, crash, and then do it again tomorrow, and then we have to break down, so it'll be even later that we're getting out of work the next day, Saturday night, Sunday morning. I'm already tired. <laughs> So, hey, 
I got social media. My link tree is com or is pinned at the top. So if you click on the link tree, you can find all my social media. If you see a vehicle in my area and tomorrow we have to break down. Yeah, exactly. If you see a vehicle in my area that you, um, <coughs> it's within the $2,000 range. Um, hit me up, send me a link and, uh, and I will fucking, I will definitely check it out. Um, you can, my email is also in there so you can send it to my email because next week I'll be, I'll be hard scrubbing the internet for, for a vehicle. I'm looking in the Vegas area. I'm looking in the Phoenix area. I mean, Flagstaff isn't off the table, Prescott. So any of those spots, honestly, would probably work out. Like I could probably pull that off. Um, maybe even like parts of Eastern California, like Southeastern California. I don't want to go to LA. Oh man, it's getting so hot. I'm actually dehydrated. I, uh, I can feel it. Nobody knows any jokes. I asked you guys for jokes earlier. <laughs> Nobody has any jokes. Let's see. Um, what's the difference between a cop and chocolate? Or no, no, no. What's a cop and chocolate have in common? What does a chocolate and a cop have in common? They might kill your dog. I know, that's a dark joke. <laughs> Why do hippies hate Christmas? Because they don't have a chimney in their tent? <laughs> I don't know. They're wearing all of their stockings. I know there's a delay, but no L. Why do hippies hate Christmas? No L. No L. That's funny. <laughs> I actually do get it. That did take me a second. What's orange and looks good on hippies? Fire. I think some of my friends probably won't like that joke. But I think some of them will. There's also these like orange flowers growing over there too. Desert's really pretty at times. Why are Marines like bananas? Why are Marines like bananas? I don't know why. I got some Marine jokes. <laughs> Why are Marines like bananas? I'm not sure, dude. Give me the punchline! <laughs> I 
<laughs> because they're green until they're yellow and they die in bunches. <laughs> That's dark. I got a dark one. How does the Marine Corps hit the beach? Dead and floating. I even got army jokes like, what does U.S. Army stand for backwards? Like, if you read it backwards, the initial, or the word, U.S. Army, it's, yeah, my retarded ass signed up. Um, and then, obviously, Army weren't really Marines yet, or something like that. Why don't, why aren't there any koala bears that are doctors? Because they're not koalified. <laughs> Dad jokes are always, they're also appropriate. Trying to think of any other jokes that I know. You hear about... You hear about the blonde cop that pulled over the blonde driver? So, this blonde cop pulls over a blonde driver and goes up to her, her door and goes, Can I please see your license and registration? Hang on, let me... I'll, I'll finish this joke in a second. I just wanted to show you this. I'll take that. I'll take that. I could get to Oregon in that. Just go off-road the entire way. Um, so the blonde cop pulls over the blonde driver. Goes up to her window and goes, Can I please see your license and registration? <coughs> and blonde driver starts digging through her purse. And finds her compact and opens it up and sees the mirror and she goes, oh, here it is and hands it to the cop. And the cop goes, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were an officer. Have a good day. And then lets her go. Ha 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 ha. ha. I got some Navy jokes. Like, you ever, like, 100 sailors will go out on float, and 50 couples will come back. Paydays on Monday, folks, for all of you disabled veterans out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I was kind of hoping that Easter Sunday was going to make Easter Monday a holiday and give people a three-day weekend, um, but they didn't, and the, so the first is still actually the payday, but if the first lands on a holiday, they get, give it to you the day before, and they don't pay on weekends, so I was hoping maybe I would get paid today, but nope. I get paid on Monday. So that's life. <laughs> that's how I'm doing. But thankfully I get paid Monday and then I work the show and also get paid from that. And I will be fucking buying a vehicle. Everyone send good vibes that it's a vehicle that will last me a while. That's what I need right now. It's all I need. Give me a year out of this vehicle, I'll be happy. Nobody got any more jokes? Well, I think I'm gonna call it. I think I'm gonna end the live stream. Good to see everyone.
I was here, I saw Critter and Drew and Ed. Cote is here and Dave was here. Heath and Bobby stopped in and said hi. Good to see all you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, for those of you who watch... Oh, holy crap, I lost all connections to my phone, the internet, everything. Oh, damn. My internet's been kind of bad, actually, lately, too. Um, it hasn't been too great. Like, there's so many people out here that during the day I usually can't use it. Definitely can't use it at the peak times, at like 5, 6, um, 7. My phone just is kind of useless out here. I was going to live stream the sunset the other day, but I didn't have enough signal to even do anything. So I am kind of on the whims of how much data I've got at that time. But anyways, thanks for being here, everybody. Appreciate the chat, the jokes. Good to see you. I'll be seeing you real soon again. Take care. And as always, miles of smiles.